Hey everybody, it's Angie, and today I wanted to do a comparison of a few different eye makeup removers. Being as cheap as I am, it's just not my nature to spend a lot on something like an eye makeup remover. Nevertheless, I do want some decent performance out of it. So um, I was in my Target the other day and I saw that they had the simple eye makeup remover on sale and it was two of these for four dollars, so two bucks a piece. So I thought, oh that's great, let me give this a try. I've seen people compare this to Bioderma and say that it was pretty much the exact same thing. Um, doesn't leave a greasy residue, you know, on and on about it. So I picked that up to give it a try. To go with it, I also had to buy some cotton rounds that then I cut in half and use for each eye. All right, so I compared three different eye makeup removers. Um, the Simple and the L'Oreal Clean Artiste and also Alme. And now there's two different ones of these. One is the moisture um, formula. That one I also have do not like. This is the oil-free formula. You can see right here, it says oil-free. This is the one that I prefer. In order of liked it best to worst, um, I don't even have the L'Oreal Clean Artiste to show you, but I do have a picture of it. Um, because I hated it so much. So it went back to the store. I have returned it already. Now, um, it says that it's a non-oily formula and that it will, in one pass, completely remove all my stubborn, waterproof makeup. Well, um, not the case. Not only did it leave a big oily residue all around my eyes that then I had to wash my face twice to get it off, it didn't take off the eye makeup any better than these other products that didn't leave a grease slick. So um, that one was a big thumbs down for me. I did not like it at all. And I, you know, as always, I go into these things, I have such high hopes for it, and I believe everything that it tells me on the label, because I'm like, oh, if it says it on the label, it must be true. I mean, clearly they've tested this product. If they're saying it doesn't leave an oily residue, then it must not leave an oily residue. Au contraire, not the case. It leaves a huge oily residue. Then um, I went back and read the label and it said that you have to shake it up before using it. So I was like, oh geez, maybe it was separated and I just ended up using the oily half and there's this other half that miraculously, um, you know, negates the oil. So I went back and tried it a second night, shook it up, used it that way. Still, big oil slick around the eyes. Couldn't stand it. So that's my pet peeve with um, eye makeup removers. All right, and so... So with this one, this one does not leave an oily residue. But if you end up buying the other one that says moisturizing right here, it has the same little graphic, so it's hard to tell them apart. You really have to put your readers on in the store and make sure that you're getting the right one, the oil-free. The moisturizing one is very greasy. It leaves a big grease slick on your eyes. And I don't really feel that it takes off the makeup any better than this one. So, um, but this is my favorite. So I'm gonna talk about the simple next. All right, so I do like this brand and this kind of eye makeup remover. This is a very watery formula, and um, but you do have to buy cotton pads or cotton rounds to use it with. So I saw, um, I think it was Lisa Eldridge, she takes the cotton rounds, the flat ones, and she cuts them in half. So I made an afternoon project of cutting in half a whole mess of cotton rounds. And then you wet each half with this, and then you just place it on your eyes, and you, you know, you let it sit there for a couple minutes, and then um, you just pull it off, and magically all the makeup comes off with it. You don't have to do a lot of rubbing. Well, it works pretty well in theory, and this does get off most of your eye makeup. But I'll tell you, if you are doing the tight lining and, um, you know, wearing mascara, there really isn't anything that gets off everything in one swipe. Um, unless it's the Bioderma, I could be, because I haven't tested it, so I can't say. I shouldn't say there's nothing, but, you know, okay, I only tested three, but hey. Of the three that I use, there isn't anything that gets it all off in one swipe. Now, um, with wetting the cotton pads, this goes down really fast. This is not that big of a bottle. I wish it was like two or three times bigger, but for the same price, of course. This is 4.2 ounces, um, and this says it has vitamin goodness, which is lovely, and it's for sensitive eyes. It takes a lot 
to really moisten it and to get the eye makeup off. So I make it pretty damp. And when I press it in my eyes, sometimes it gets in my eyes. And this does sting a little bit. So even though it's force sensitive eyes, you know, if you just keep it on the outside, it doesn't sting. But if uh, by some chance, because it's a liquid and it flows into your eye, it does sting a little bit. So just a little warning there if you have super, super sensitive eyes. I'd say this probably lasts me three weeks if I use it every night. Which, you know, it's all, it was only two bucks, but still, only three weeks does not seem like a long time for this. All right, so that's why that is the runner-up. Um, and I do still use it in combination with this. So this, for me, was the winner because these pads are so thin. Like, those cotton things are so big and thick. And I use one of these, and I use it for both eyes. I'll do this eye with this side, and then I'll do this eye with this side. And it gets off just as much with one skinny little pad as my two puffy pads with the simple. Which is to say that there is some makeup left on my eyes. So what I do is I get off, you know, as much as I can with these, and it doesn't take a lot of rubbing, and it does not leave an oily residue, which is the number one thing that I like about this. Okay? Then I wash my face. And a little bit of more black stuff dribbles out of my eyes while I'm washing my face. I get that off. And then I always have like a little raccoon ring of gray under here and usually some eyeliner stuck in the lower lashes or in the upper lashes. So then I use a Q-tip with the simple and just a couple of drops on the Q-tip just to get the little bit of excess off. So I use a combination of these two. Um, and only just because I'm a lazy bones and at, you know, 11 o'clock at night when I'm taking off my makeup, if I have run out of cut in half, um, you know, cotton things, it's just too much work for me. <laughs> so I like this. You get 120 in here. So if I use one a night, that is um, four months. I would say this is probably somewhere between six and nine dollars, but I'll check it and put it right here how much this costs. So this is a much better value and it cleans off just as well. So that is my um, eye makeup removing uh, product comparison for today. Thanks for watching and take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.